Welcome back agents and I want to talk to you today about this build that I've been running on the summit. Now the reason why this is actually being surprisingly effective is it is definitely a very aggressive build. It's very um, it's a six piece red build and because of the perfect mana door this piece right here it really helps you on one of the directives that I run almost all the time. And that is um, when you take your radar away from everything. So when you go in here and you run your directives. Um, let me change. Uh, where is it? So when you look at your directives. Uh, when you run this fog of war, you can't see people coming up behind you. But the advantage is when you're running this build or running this piece of equipment here, and it is the Manador, this happens to be the perfect adrenaline rush. So the perfect Manador, it's going to tell you whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, you get 25 23% bonus armor for five seconds and it can stack up to three times and what happens is you get this little bull symbol pop up on your screen well if you're looking in front of you and you see nobody pop up and you got your back to a door sometimes you can hear them come in they'll be noisy sometimes they're not um, especially if they're like cannibals stuff like that so you see these bulls come up on your screen and there's nobody in front of you you know there's somebody behind you now your radar is off with the fog of war so the adrenaline rush really helps you know that somebody is in your area to come after you so we're trying to get this perfected um, and equipped uh, optimized and what this is is we're running our face mask. We're running three Providence. We're running uh, a Fenris because we're running AR. And of course we have to, the key thing that this is built around is the perfect mana door, the perfect adrenaline rush. And we can go with the normal combination of Intimidate, which gives us more weapon damage when we have bonus armor. But I chose to go with the Ridgeway's Pride, which is doing uh, more bleeding. And then it's doing, uh, giving us more armor by having bleeding people around us. So when we really working on this and we have a bleed hive out and we have, say, a seeker mind that uh, is causing bleed and we get within the whole gaggle of that bunch it is really making this really effective yeah that one so what what this is doing and why i had different skills on i was doing the summit and doing different uh challenges but this one is really fun um and the, because you have this continuous battle going on, um, the chameleon really shines in here. So you're able to get enough damage on there for this to really start taking effect. So when you get over 30 headshots, grants you 20% 20 20 more crit chance and 50% more crit damage for 45 seconds. Now the crit chance we have maxed out, so really doesn't uh, hurt us uh, or help us, but it's that 50% crit chance on top of it that really helps. And if we get 75 body shots, it does 90% damage for 45 seconds. Um, and I never aim at the legs long enough to get 30 shots in to get my reload speed 25 seconds more. So mm, that's usually not uh, an issue. And because you, you're on the floor, you're almost always in combat for the whole floor, it 
this buff remains as long as you're, you know, doing combat. So it, it's really important. It comes with 15% crit chance on it already, an extra 20 rounds. So the clip is uh, up to 50 magazine, 900 RPM, and a decent damage at 95.9. This really kind of rocks. Now when they get really close, I switch to my tried and true um, ACS-12. Uh, I really like this. If I had a rock and roll, maybe I would go with it. But uh, I like the ACS-12 uh, for its damage. Um, 389 and the ability to crank out that just empty a clip in somebody's face. Um, even the yellow or name boss really um, does that kind of damage that adds problems. And you can see that 10% crit hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you're firing. So you, you can, and that stacks up to 5%. Add that all in all the other things this build's doing. Um, it's real complimentary. Now the handgun here, we're just using the typical handgun that goes, has perfect optimist that goes with the demolitionist. Choosing the demolitionist here mostly so we can go uh, with the artillery turret uh, when we're up on the summit. Um, but you can go other ways here. You could probably go with it gunner and get some, um, because of the bonus armor, gunner might be the way to go on this. So we can run this a little different. Uh, in the real world, I run gunner, but what I really wanted to emphasize on this build is this perfect uh, adrenaline rush, which comes on the Manador, which is the named Walker Harrison Co. backpack. And a lot of you have watched my video on the Manador and the Chain Killer, and it's one of it's two of my favorite named items out there um, probably as a team is probably only second best to the gift slash sacrifice of the providence gear which is the uh, perfect version of glass cannon and the perfect vigilance which is an awesome combination um, on any set and it is providence so it it runs into that crit chance crit damage build so let's break down the actual each uh, attribute that we have on this build we have some improvement here to make on the crit damage and since if we want to rely on that 20 percent procting more from the chameleon we could go ahead and roll this uh, crit chance off of here and put headshot damage so our headshot damage is higher so when we're aiming at the head we're crit damaging and we're headshotting. But right now we have the crit chance on there. So on our Ridgeway's Pride, all we're going to do is be able to max this out a little bit. We can't really change it because it's an exotic. So we can get the critical hit damage up here to 12%. And of course, once we improve our mods a little bit, we can get it up to 12%. So there's another a one point of percentage that we can get on crit damage. Um, here on the holster, we could we could recalibrate um, this headshot damage to crit damage, make it look a little bit better. So that would be another 12% crit damage versus headshot damage. But we get a lot of headshots on here. And because of the event um that we're doing with the reanimated we're getting a lot of headshots in there anyway so um i was running headshot damage a lot on on a lot of these builds so on the knees again the third providence here max uh weapon damage max headshot damage max crit damage so that one's good to go we're we're going to stay with that so here in our gloves, we're using the Fenris for the 10% uh, assault damage, uh, assault rifle damage, since we're using the Chameleon. 
and we need to work uh, getting that weapon damage up to 15%. It's got the 6% crit chance and 12% crit damage. So still staying with that theme of crit damage. Now the Harrison Walker Go is giving us the brand set bonus of 5% weapon damage. And if we had another slot, if we weren't running Ridgeways, we could run the second Harrison Walker and Co. And uh, as a vest, and we could probably we we get that five percent damage to armor, which is multiplicable, and it really makes things uh, much better. Um, the improvements we can make on this is the weapon damage, of course, the crit damage we could take up here and get rid of it here completely, uh, make that headshot damage. And then make the um, improvement here to counter count, counter the loss that we would have on that. But it's because the Chameleon has such a great mod here that gives 15% crit chance right off the bat. That makes um, it real easy for an AR to get to 60% crit chance, which... A lot of times it's easier for an SMG, but not an AR. And you can see where our crit chance is coming from. We're getting 10% uh, from the gear set. We're getting 10% from our watch. We're getting um, the 15% from our mod on our chameleon. So right then and there, we're getting 35%. So we only need 20, uh, 25 more percent. And you can see that we're getting some from the chameleon itself. So the chameleon is giving us 4.5% crit chance. Now, um, again, it's not it's exotic, so we can't change that. So we could improve that again to get rid of one of those, like the the mask. I said this before, and switch that to headshot damage versus crit chance so just improving the chameleon and improving the harrison walker co would make this crit chance here so redundant that we would want to switch to headshot damage so we can improve that so those are where we can improve and because of the ridgeways pride um, we want to make things bleed around us so that's why we have the stinger hive and we have the the pokeball that um, is the explosive seeker mine so it's going to cause people to bleed once it blows up it does a respectable 1.3 damage at a uh, basically a zero tier um, so it, it, it's impressive and the shotgun um again can help you with a crit chance when you got those up close and personal it also is a great time to jump over here when you're fighting dogs and the reason is you get the 12 percent um damage to armor and you're getting the 10 percent damage out of cover and those are both both multiplicable different tabs so that really emphasizes a lot of the damage that you're doing on things like the uh, robotic dog or um, any of the electronics like that. So that's the build. Having a lot of fun. I get some playing that we did in the summit. And you can see when the little bull icon flashes up on the screen. Um, you can check that out. Now, I also have another video that's going to be coming out. When we were doing the summit, there was an incident where we were on floor 60. We took the elevator to 61 to continue on, and it just kept going up. All of a sudden, we were on level 100, and we were fighting, you know, entering the first room when we got off the elevator. Why it skipped those floors, and I have the video, or I wanted to believe it myself. Don't know why it did it. 
I know there's a lot of glitching going on. Um, when we were running the Wall Street today, uh, I had a sound glitch that the band that was playing up there that kind of sounds like Van Halen, one of the guys says it sounds like Van Halen. Like, that's not Van Halen. But it, it's 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 a rock kind of sound. Uh, and But... It sounds like somebody's trying to do some bad um, sampling. Um, back in the old days of scratching a record, it just kind of repeated itself. And um, you can hear some of that in, in a different play video that we'll probably post tomorrow. Um, so there's some glitching going out of there. And I don't know what that has to do with some of the programming that's coming out uh, a lot of the prep for the new down uh, loads and and the uh, manhunt coming out tuesday a lot of times they'll prep it um on changing some of that stuff so i'm seeing more and more glitches as the week went by i heard some really bad ones on pc um when tu 12.1 came out so we were doing okay on Xbox, but these last few days we've seen some really weird stuff going on. And going from level 60 on the summit straight up to level 100, while I'm not complaining, was uh, um, an unexpected glitch in the game. You know, it was not something we exploited or anything. It just happened to us. Um, and, and again... Check that video out uh, if you can, uh, maybe uh, Massive, it might help Massive discover something that's going wrong. Um, it hasn't happened to us again yet. Um, if anybody else has got to level 60 and tries to go to 61 and goes all the way to the top, please let us know in the comments. Uh, find out if it, it really is a thing. So that's the build. Very great Um respectable on the crit chance uh 164 like i say we should be able to get this somewhere close to 180 without any kind of effort we could easily get the headshot up at 110 112 and with the health damage i would rather it be armor damage but it's an ar so it comes with the health damage um very respectable and the accuracy is pretty good the, the gun is easy to use. Um, really, really like this build. And with the 100% all weapon damage and the 40% assault damage, when we have to get back up to the uh, shotgun, we lose a little bit on that. We only got the 15% shotgun damage. Um, and then, of course, we get damage from the actual weapon itself. That improves that. So we're setting somewhere about 140% all, all damage on that with the um, with all that crit chance. It really rips through a lot of things. It's easy to control. Um, it's a fun build. But the biggest piece that really makes this really shine when you're running Fog of War is I really love playing with this perfect adrenaline rush and you may again and you can run the the meta that, that's been done a lot and you run the intimidate or perfect intimidate with this and yes that's great and you can run that uh with the hunter's fury in the other slots instead and so you're always getting the bonus armor yes the that's a really good build. Those are all really fun builds. Um, but this is how I ran it. This is kind of my take on things. Um, still working on perfecting it 100%. But uh, it's a fun build. And if you can put these pieces together and put them to work, I think you'll enjoy it too. So this is Bear Essentials. I am Bear Buyers. I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you in the grind.